Hello everybody, it's Alex here from WP Eagle and today I wanted to take you for a theme that I've just been working with recently. It's called uh, Acoustic and it's a music theme uh, so it's suitable for you know a club or a band or an orchestra actually which I'll be showing you very shortly. Uh, it's great because it's packed full of features for those kind of organisations so things like events and um, music, you can add music, you can add um, artists and you know, and loads of gallery uh, features as well, so you can add all your photos. It's really great, and um, well, let's have a look. So uh, the theme is here. It's available to buy from Theme Forest. It's just fifty dollars, uh, which is a bit of a bargain. For that, you get the WordPress theme, and you get an HTML5 template if you, for whatever reason, need that. I doubt you will if you're using WordPress, but hey, it's nice to have. Um, it's responsive, and as I say, it's got some great um, events and, and music-related stuff. So let's have a quick look at the demo. So this is their kind of live demo for us to play around with. Um, it's got a nice home page which you can configure. We'll go through some of the options in a sec, but you can you know you can turn off the slider. It's got social media at the top there. It brings up all your latest media here. Again, these options can be turned off if you don't want that. Here's the events I was talking about, which is really cool, and you can link through to your um, ticket office or whatever, or you could you know, integrate it with something like WooCommerce, which it supports you know to sell tickets and, and things like that. Here's the blog. Um, you can add albums if you want, if you if you have some albums. Uh, photo galleries, um, artists or band members or you know whatever you want to use that for. And some other things you can publicize just a single event here, as you can see. So loads and loads of options. Nice footer. Um, don't be put off by the yellow. You can change the uh, the colors very easily. So the site I've been made. Let's have a quick look at uh, what I've done with it. Um, as you can see it's similar but also different this is for an orchestra um, and yeah basically been using some of the features that come with the theme so you know I've changed the events to concerts and you know artists to members and got rid of the yellow as you can see so let's dive into the back and have a look at uh, the options you get so I'm logged into the back of our orchestra website there and it's very simple you've got your slider here so uh, you know this is on your home page can add as many slider items as you want and you simply you know create one add a featured image and a link and you're done pretty easy for sliders events are here so um, this allows you to you know publicize your gigs or concerts or whatever you're doing again very easy they're just custom post types, so it's just like adding anything in WordPress give it a title put some details in you can then add the venue location uh, date and time and all the kind of stuff that you need you can say if it's available or sold out and then you can add a button with a link through to your ticket office also comes with Google Maps support so you can add a map to the venue as well really really cool uh, discography videos media they're all very similar to the events um, you know you whatever you have you just add them and then it's very easy to place around the site um, galleries again very straightforward you know you just create a gallery item Give it a featured image, which is what's going to show as kind of the main thing. And if you have a look at the galleries here, mine on here are slightly weird shapes and sizes because the images weren't big enough. So that's a tip there. Your images need to be nice and bigger. Then the site will resize them correctly here. They haven't. Um, but if we have a look on the demo, you can see how nice it is. So yeah, in terms of um, if you get a little quirky things, I found the support by the guys that make it, uh, which are a team called uh, CSS Igniter. Uh, I found the support really, really good. Uh, any questions or queries I have, they're responded to very quickly and concisely, uh, even down to the point of making slight, you know, little customizations to the theme. They've been very helpful. You know, they just give you instructions on what to do and, and, and away you go, so that's great. Um, let's dip into the actual theme settings so you can have a look what can be done. So very easy to add your logo and your favicon and, and all the kind of basic stuff. You can even add, um, I haven't done it yet, but you can add um, icons so when people add it as a favorite on their iPhone etc they get a nice icon let's have a look at the home page as I said you can turn on the latest media or the, the slider and how many slider items you want um, loads and loads of good options again loads of good display options I'm not going to go through all of them because there's quite a few but yeah you get lots of flexibility in, in how things look and, and feel as I mentioned uh, there's loads of different already built-in color options and then if you want to tweak it further you can just go in if you're confident enough to change the CSS of these you know change some colors um, so you don't have to have the yellow there's loads to choose from um, okay that's it I think um, so in a nutshell 
Um, if you're looking for a theme for your band or your uh, orchestra or your nightclub, I would definitely recommend uh, a theme from CSS Igniter. Another theme I've used from them, um, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, let's have a quick look. Which I would also recommend. Yeah, here it is, Muzak. Uh, it's quite similar, but a bit of a darker kind of style to it. Slightly different layout. It is also really, really good. Uh, I'll do a review of that probably in a separate video. So highly recommended. I'll place links um, to where you can get these themes in the description. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.